Hi there! Thanks for joining me for another technique video. This month I wanted to show you how I made this tag. Um, I'm going to be showing you a technique um, called Cuddlebug Highlights um, with an Added Shimmer. And I originally saw this done in the Technique Junkies November, um, October, November 2008 newsletter and it was submitted by someone named Mary, El Mary Ellen Harrison. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to take, cut out a tag shape, any kind is fine. I'm using the one from uh, My Time Made Easy, it's an SVG. Um, anyways, I just wanted to show you how I put it into the folder. Um, I lined it up, I'm using the Cuddlebug um, Happy Birthday folder and I just went ahead and I lined it up so that um, you can see the words like where the happy is here, like that. And you just go ahead and you run it through your Cuddlebug as usual and you will come out with that. So the next thing you want to do is you want to take a white pigment ink, make sure it's a pigment ink, and a brayer, and you want to ink up your brayer with the pigment ink, and ink it up really good, so you get good coverage, and then you're going to go ahead and brayer over your tack. And you're going to want to use a dark colored cardstock when you do this, um, as you can see I'm using black. And just go ahead and brayer on that white really good. You can go back and do it again so you get good even coverage. Just like that. Now you're going to want to go ahead and set that aside and let it dry and wash your brayer. Okay, once your tag is dry um, your, and your brayer is clean, you're going to want to go ahead and take um, a Kaleidi Color Pad. And I am using the Riviera today. And you go ahead and you're going to ink up your brayer again. And now you're going to want to go back over your tag. You're going to be going over the white part. And as you can see, I have now added the color on top of the um, white. And it's made it really pop so that you can see the black on the bottom. But now the color will show through like that. Really simple and easy and produces a great effect. Now you could just stop here if you wanted to but I like to add a little twist to mine where I like to take some pearlescent chalks and I'm using these from uh, Pebbles. I hope they still make them. I've got mine a long time ago. Um, anyways, you go ahead and you're going to take a color, just match up with what you've brayered on. So I'm going to take a purple and I'm just using this little alligator clip thing that comes with it and this little comb ball and just go over your purples. As you can see you've got purples here and this chalk has this added shimmer in it and it just really makes it pop out. Just gives it a, a great sparkle. Now I'm going to go ahead in with the blue and I'm going to do the same thing here with the blues like this. Just go over it here. Let me get a little bit closer so you guys can hopefully pick up, see the shimmer come out. Hopefully you guys can see the shimmer now. And just run your little guy. And this is, this tool is really good for getting into like the little parts and stuff. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to pick up a little bit of pink. And I'm just going to kind of go pink over here instead of green. I kind of like the pink to add some pink to it. And I'm just going to do the same thing up in here. Just add some pink. And in here. I'm going to just add a little bit more down here and hopefully you guys can now see the, real, the shimmery. Hopefully it's coming through on the camera. And just to kind of finish it up I'll just add a little bit of yellow over in here. Just like that. So as you can see I've just added a bunch of shimmer. Hopefully you can pick that up which has made it almost look metallic, which is really, really cool, I think. So anyways, let me go back to the 
first one that I did. And as you can see, um, I just went ahead and punched a hole and then I just added some seam binding, purple seam binding at the top. And I had gotten that from um, an Etsy shop and I'll put that in the end uh, credits as well. Supply list, I mean supply list. So anyways, um, that's it. Super simple, easy technique with a little great effect, I think. Um, if you give it a try, I'd love to see what you do. So send me a link if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. And once again, thanks for stopping by.